say a, a little entrepreneur of, of New York City. A little bit. Isn't this right? So it's um, Lucas, say your last name. Sorry. Mautner. Mautner. A lot of people think it's Mautner. Yeah, I didn't want to say Can it. I just say it's August, you know, not August. I would think about it. Ah. Okay. Tomato, not tomato. Yes. Well, 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 it's, it is tomato, tomato, I suppose, but, but it's not <laughs> Ma Mautner, Mautner. It's Mautner. It's Mautner. Okay. August. Okay. I know. So how many times your whole life did you hear the other way? Probably about half the time. That's it? My That's aunt it. actually legally changed her name to Mautner because all of her patients were saying, oh, Mautner, Mautner, and she had so sick of correcting everyone. So she just changed it audio-wise, you mean? Yeah, the spelling didn't change. Right, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, she just said, I have been on top of you. Right. So she didn't care. She was like, I'm done with it. So she tell was... us, what are you doing? You're doing a whole bunch of stuff in New York nightlife and all sorts of fun things. Fill us in. I am. I am. I just recently started working in nightlife. My major thing that I'm trying to do is I would like to be a writer. I have a book that I wrote. and. Um, you know, I published it, and it got some good reviews from publishers. What's the name and of it? The name is The Little Witch. The Little Witch? The Little Witch. Oh, Alrighty. I love it already. <laughs> is she a good witch or a bad witch? I think she tries to be a good witch, but sometimes it's just things don't work out. So it's a novel? To be a good witch. It's a novel. Oh my gosh, what's her name? Her name is Astrid. Astrid, the little witch. Yes, what color hair does she have? She has blonde hair, but it gets changed in the book because of some unforeseen circumstances. So, so what, what is this book rated? This book, it, well, it's written for young adults. I love YA books. That's my favorite category of Me books. Too. Oh my god! <laughs> I love them. I hate regular books. They I know, bore so me. Boring. I'm like, I oh know. my god, I've been reading the same page. YA like books are the ones I can sit and like devour and read the whole book, and I feel like I did something. I think it's because they really, teenagers and young adults, they really want to be like connected with these characters. So the authors give them something to hold on to. And it gives you the most, you know, the most range, the most range, and like more fun you can put in, more fantasy. I uh, love fantasy. So but. give us a synopsis. How many pages is that book? Uh, right now, I don't know in pages. Okay. It's probably about almost three hundred. Wow. I would say. Yeah. That's a lot. How long did it take you to write? Ooh, it's been probably about three years now. That's okay. That's not that bad. And it's yeah. edited and ready to go. It's ready to go. Wow, that's that's huge. So who did the cover, and what does the cover look like? The cover looks like it's um it's green, like a green background with like a floral print kind of, and then there's this big ornate golden like mirror type thing, and inside that mirror is an image of Astrid. Astrid. Oh, I want to read this book. So how did was she born a witch? Well, what happens is she lives in London. It takes place uh, in um, the early 20th it's century. A lot of England today. It must be the weather. It's the Jubilee. Yes, it's the weather. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's right. Damn. So yeah, it's okay. So she was born in England. So she was born in England, and she lives in Whitechapel, which at the time was a very poor section. Oh, I remember Whitechapel. It's on the tube. It has its own stuff. It does. I think it's Tower Hamlets. Okay. My research is correct. Ah. Um, so she lives in this, you know, very poor neighborhood, and there's garbage on the streets and children running around, and you know, a lot of sick people and homeless people. So is it like Olivery? Actually, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I love that. Yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> and um, it's just her and her mother, and they live in this big townhouse. But inside the townhouse is a bunch of little families that share a room. They they don't share a single room. There's seven rooms. Each family lives in there. Okay. So she lives in this, you know, this squalor, and there's she sees like you know, I I, I call it the blight of humanity, um, because at the time you know, there was a lot of like dock workers and stuff, or like, you know, factory workers, and they didn't have any benefits, there are no unions. And that's one of the major themes of the book. It's um, Astrid's kind of struggle against this ruling upper class, and they're the ones, they're called the magicians, and they're the only ones who are legally allowed to use magic, because they were born into a wealthy family, they were uh, trained England it. is so like that. Right, so Astrid and her mother are both witches, which makes it illegal, but Ingrid, which is Astrid's mother, uses her magic for good, and she, you know, creates potions, and heals the sick of Whitechapel, and she has to charge for it because she has to, like, there you go. <laughs> so how old is Astrid? Astrid is turning 16. Okay. And then her mother actually gets arrested on the day of her 16th birthday, and oh, that's no. where things start to go awry for her. Oh, so does Astrid ever have a love interest? 
She actually has two lovers. Good for her. Good. I like She's it. a modern woman. Good. I like that. Awesome. Tell me yeah. more. Oh, well, very interesting the, now. The first well, I want to read it. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a little uh, tantalizing clue. Okay. Um, so the first love interest. Is, shades of ass. I was just gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that slut. <laughs> Let's get to the good part. Look. <laughs> Yeah, this is the part that keeps, this is like my glass of wine out. Okay. <laughs> so she has the first love interest is someone she grew up with, and he's part of her little gang, the neighborhood gang. And she's like, she trusts him and everything, but he's kind of like her second in command, so she says something and he does it, you know? Uh -huh. She says jump and he says how high. Right. And then the second love interest is someone she meets later on who's from the upper class, and he's ah. more like, he's cocky and arrogant, and he bosses her around, and they fight all the time. Wow. But it's interesting for her. So. That's it. But she could change it into a frog or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, he actually, be gone, you be gone, you. He's, he's in training to be a magician. Right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's well, a lot that sounds really cute. It, well, is, that, it is really cute. Wow. So it's published? or? It's I What I did was I self-published an early version, my very first draft of it, and then I used that. I um I entered it into a couple of you know contests. Like, I sent yeah. it around. It made it to, it was a semi, or no, it was a quarter final, sorry. Quarter finalist on the Amazon Breakthrough Novel Award. That's amazing. Yes. Good and, for you. And then, like I said earlier, Publishers Weekly did like a little review of it. That's and, amazing. Um, That's yeah. huge. That's like a needle in a haystack. Yeah. It, it was, really I was is. Really excited. Good for you. Where'd you where where'd you grow up? I grew up in Palm Beach, Florida. Wow. Yes. So far yeah. away from England. Very far away. We yeah, never know it by your chance. Wow. <laughs> so did you run from Florida as soon as you could? Um, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I always, I always knew that I wanted to, you know, come move to New York and everything. Were you always writing as a kid? Yeah, I, I wrote my first book when I was in third grade on the playground. It was only like ten pages. Okay. Do you I remember my, the title? It was. I don't. It was. It was. Some, it was kind of like a spinoff of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It was okay. like a classic '90s movie. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then my second one I wrote when I was in the fifth grade, and that was longer. That was called Magic Land. Oh, so and, um, the magic began. That's when the magic began. Okay. That's where it happened. Wow, fifth grade is a big year. Yeah, it's yeah. actually still in my um, elementary school library. Wow. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> that's, so you're going to be like the Lucas <laughs> Mautner. There you go. Um, all the kids are going to be crazy when you come down Maybe. there. You never know. <laughs> so um, Palm Beach, do you visit ever? I try to go you know, once or twice a year because right. it's always warm and the weather's nice, so it's good to get away. I don't have to go too often because um, a lot of my family lives here in the city, so okay, it's so nice that makes to it see easy. Them. So but now into the nightlife. So what's going on with you that you never sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I have a limited window of sleeping. Yeah, um, I actually You're young enough though. Exactly, <laughs> going without sleep for another ten years. Don't yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so I, I actually recently started working with my friend who, um, you know, he's a promoter, so his job is like going out there and getting people to come out and have fun and drink and stuff. And I'm basically working his assistant, you know, working on like a website and everything. I don't know, it just really started and there's not, it's like, you know, if it was like a snowflake rolling down the hill to yeah. eventually kind of snowball and yeah. like maybe like a little drop of moisture. Oh, okay, so it hasn't snowballed yet. It hasn't snowballed yet, but it's starting. But yeah. Astrid's starting to snowball. Oh, she's like a snowman already. Oh, <laughs> yay! That's you have to read it. I want to read it. Yeah. I so where can we find that book if we wanted to read it? Is it going to be yes. in the library yet? <laughs> Hopefully. Do you have a page where we can buy it? You can find it on the library. Um, you can actually find it on iTunes or the Amazon. The Wait, Google so if you get it on iTunes, because you can you listen to it in your iPad? No, unfortunately. What? Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Walkman, I know. What, about, what is this? I have all of those things. <laughs> iPod, that's the word. Duh. I know. Um, it's not lobster day. It's I know. Something, <laughs> I don't know what it is yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something in the air today. It must be this. It must be this. So, um, so if you get it on iTunes, what do you mean? They send you the book? You can um, download it, you know, to like an iPad or the iPhone. Oh, and to read it. To read it, yeah. To read uh, it. Like reading? Why would we do that in this day and age? <laughs> I know. It's like nobody reads anymore. It's... I could read it to you. You would? I would, totally. Oh, <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. Oh, my God. There we go. We we got a long the, day. Record the vocals for the audiobook. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really like the sound of my own voice. I don't know how that would work. Right. <laughs> wow. That sounds great. So, um... 
What else are you looking to do? Are you planning another book? Um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait on the book. And know, what's the, the exact title? The Good Witch. The Little the Witch. Little the Little Witch, witch yeah. Okay, The Little Witch, and um, you can get it on iTunes. Like, is there a web link? Um, you know, there's not. I don't know. It's just an iTunes store. You can go so to you the, just go to the iTunes store and say the little witch has a book. And I'm gonna friend you later, and, It'll then, pop you, up. and then I'm gonna get all the information. Are yeah, you I, on yeah. Facebook? Because I there's another person with your name, you know, who's wow. some, really? who's some German, um, famous guy. Yeah, that's what I'm he, with him. I friended him thinking I was friending you, and now he's my friend and he's been writing to me, and I thought it was you. Oh, oh great. And then it took that's me a while. That's why I met my Facebook friends. By accident? Yeah. Thinking yeah. they were somebody yeah, else. Yeah, I thought it was my cousin, like another Falzerano. I, I make friends with everybody Falzerano. Yes. Yeah, anything close to that. And then, do you know them now? Like, or Yeah, now I know. One of them is, is actually my cousin. And, and one out of how many? Well, I have a lot of Fals Falzone, Falzerano, Falzini, Falzor, and... You know, it's right. Nice. Yeah. Be, so the, your name yeah. is you're not the only one. No, I'm, I have my middle name on there. It's Lucas Eggy E G E Lana. Is that your real middle name? Real no, middle tell name. me about that. No, how, how, is is that, how is that your middle <laughs> name? Lucas Eggy. Lucas Eggy. Yeah. So what's the Eggy mean? It's um. It's, no. it's actually my mom's maiden name. Her maiden name oh. is really Eggy. It's really Eggy. Oh, yeah. How did she like that growing up? I don't know. I, I would have liked it. It sounds like a fake name. <laughs> it, it does. Like everyone, everyone thinks I'm like, you know. Making it up. Right. Where is she from? It's a German last name. She's from Alabama. Okay. Oh, yeah, Alabama. Alabama. Does she sound like that? <laughs> a little bit. She kind of lost it, but my grandmother sounds like that. Oh, does she bake biscuits or something? She bakes cornbread. Yeah. <laughs> I always have to make it go back to We have to have a cooking show. I know. Right I just want an eating show. Yeah, just um, everybody <laughs> bring <laughs> 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 the cooking. Exactly. So it is um, National Lobster Day, and that's why we always bring something to share. It is National Lobster Day, and we like people to share a skeleton from their closet. Ooh, a skeleton. So your, your mom, Eggie, is probably somewhere doing <laughs> palm trees or something. She's not watching. So tell us something mom doesn't know. Uh, okay, um, something mom doesn't know. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything juicy enough that goes into my writing, but with the nightlife thing, I have secretly been going out since I was like 15 or 16 or something. <laughs> yeah. So, I have so a lot of experience. Where did you get that ID? Well, I had my 1984 ID, I remember. I thought it was so cool because it was like George Orwell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, I, probably some like senior in my high school. Yeah, and it worked? Yeah. Oh, it worked. See, so you got a good one. See, I know I got mine at 15. I did. And I had the worst fake ID. It was so bad that nobody questioned it. It was so weird. Like, they were like, if you're going to use this, it must be real. It was the worst ID. I don't know. I started going to, into bars to watch all my friends and my brother play, and the, you know, in the bands, in the bars. I was 14. Back in those days, yeah. we, we didn't get proof. It wasn't like it is today. It was. But and today is 21, so for you to be 15 and have to be 21, how'd you do that? Because you still don't look 21. I know, I still get that a lot. The funny you thing was tell. that you I remember, like, I had, I had braces, and I would be at, like, you know, I, did I, would be, I would be leaning at the bar, and I would go, and I would, I would you know, I, I wanted to flash a smile, but I remember if I, you know, if I do that, that's... <laughs> That's a quick boot out the door. Exactly. They would always say, oh, you have such a baby face, such a baby face. And I said, I know, I got that a lot. Yeah, I'm 50. So, <laughs> so we have some seaweed crackers. They're yeah, delicious. And lobster. You have Can to have the lobster. It? Yeah. And I think we're all about the lobster. at home uh, today. Yeah. <laughs> I actually can make things. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. yeah. I, can yeah. I can make potato latkes. I can make a lot of things. I just, you know, choose I can to... make the pasta vazul, which I chose not to bring you today because I had monsoon rain at home. Oh, it so. was raining. So, Lucas, any last shout outs? Any, how did, what's your website? Like, how would people find you? I have a website of my short stories. Okay. At a paperspells.tumblr.com. So, you are into spells. You know, I got a magic wand today. I love it. I know. So, I'm like, all right. So, if that. you um, were gonna put a spell on us, what would it be? Put a spell on all of us right now. Let's have it do with a lot of money. To do with a lot of money. <laughs> Give us money. Okay. Okay. Give, us money. <laughs> Give us money. <laughs> For all money. Well, my favorite spell would be from Harry Potter. Okay, I was hmm. thinking Harry Potter this whole time. I was a big Harry Potter fan. I could tell. In the book, <laughs> it's um, I think it's Akia. He used it for his for his uh. 
or his broomstick. To I was out. just thinking the broom. I was just going to ask if you have one. I uh, something two thousand. I have a vacuum cleaner. Ah, <laughs> Nimba, Nim, Nimba. <laughs> what were those? The Nimbus two thousand. Yeah, see, I was close. You were very close. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So spell All right, us. So we're going to go instead of instead of Accio broom, we want Accio money. There you go. Oh, and the left hand is always the magic hand. Oh, really? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I play, I play my number every day, and I really need to win now. <laughs> I'm totally invested. Yeah. Like, there there All right, so the website again is paperspells.tumblr.com. Paperspells.tumblr.com. And it's Lucas Motner. Yay! Will you come back and tell us bring Astrid? Oh, I will definitely bring Astrid. Yay! Thank you, Earl, for coming. Thank you. Yes, yes. Oh, All right. Thank you. We'll be back. It's a celebration, so I don't want to get down. I don't want to start thinking numbers and getting sad. And, uh, so uh, one thing I know is, is my brother loved this city. Yeah, he couldn't wait to get out of Forestville.